Hello friends, myself Arnav Kundu. You are watching my channel Technical Arcoin. Today I will discuss another topic on LibreOffice Calc. And today I will discuss on what if analysis. Actually, what if analysis have three different tools. Number one is Goal Seek, which is I have already discussed in my channel. And second one is Scenarios, and third one is Solver. So today I will discuss these last two tools. One is scenarios and another is solver so go to the computer screen through LibreOffice Calc application I will discuss these two what if analysis tools today so let's dive in So friends, myself Arnup Kundu, you are watching my channel Technical Arquin and today I will discuss what if analysis tools in LibreOffice Calc. So at first we should know what is what if analysis. What if analysis is the process of changing the values in sales to see how those changes will affect the outcome of formulas on the worksheet, right? So there are three different tools are there. First one is goal seek, second one scenarios, and third one is solver. I have already discussed the first one means goal seek. Goal seek have been discussed in my channel. So today I will discuss the second one and the third one. First one is scenarios, and second one is a solver. A scenarios is what if analysis tool which helps to build a model wherein changes made in values are reflected in the possible outcome okay and the, what is solver while goal seek deals with single input variable to reach to specific outcome solver deals with equations with multiple unknown variables so go to the computer screen through LibreOffice Calc application I will discuss what if analysis tools one is scenarios other is solver right so friends I'm just with the LibreOffice Calc and here given a table at first we discuss the scenarios which is one of the what if analysis tools right so this is the table is given and the principal amount is 5000 is given rate of interest is given 3.5 per annum means per year and time for five years what is the simple interest and the formula is already we know what is the formula principal amount multiply rate of interest multiply time and divide by 100 so we got the simple interest so this is the formula is given cell is d8 d9 and d10 all are multiplied its value and divided by 100 we got 875 and suppose what use for the scenarios at first we select the total range from your principal amount this rate of interest this time this and separate this total range we select and then go to tools and there is an option is given scenarios just click on that and now this window is there and at first we put the scenarios have some name so name of the scenario suppose we give principal underscore amount underscore one so we put some name is principal underscore amount underscore one the name of the scenario and now we just uncheck the settings copy back okay and choose a color from there suppose we choose some color suppose some green color we choose okay and press okay so now what happened so within that particular area the given the name of the scenario principal underscore amount underscore one and if you click that so we got this name and suppose we change something to there suppose put 6500 and press enter so the simple interest will be changed automatically because we already put the formula here okay but if you click again this particular name so it's automatically revert back whatever the original scenario is there okay now same way if you create another scenario just select it and go to tools then go scenarios and we put the name suppose principal underscore amount and underscore two just given and we don't uncheck this copy back what the options what do I just go through into there and we change the color suppose color this this color we choose it dark indigo and press ok and now this dark indigo is given principal underscore amount underscore 2 and if you choose this particular scenario and if you change suppose 6000 
the principal amount and press enter so what happens the simple interest is this okay but before what the principal amount is there 5000 so if you go to amount 1 for principal amount 1 this scenario so it's automatically hold this 5000 what is by default at first we choose the scenario but again if you go to this principal amount 2 so it's change that means whatever changes we made within this scenario it will be hold its value means keep it value remain not the previous one means again if we change this value suppose 7000 and press enter and if you go to the first scenario so first one is the simple 5000 whatever is given and if you change this value suppose rate of interest suppose put 6 and press enter so interest will be changed but again if we go principal underscore amount underscore one where we uncheck the copy back option so again it go to the previous one but what happened whatever the change we made into our second part means principal underscore amount underscore two where the scenarios contain the copy back option so just see the last changes value is remain so this is the two different part for scenario is concerned means we either choose some changes value which one we want to keep then we choose just check the copy back option if you don't need so in that case again if you select that and go to tools and go to scenarios if we uncheck it so it can't hold the current value if you check it so it can hold the current value okay so this is the scenario in that way we can get the value from there right so these are two scenarios are there first one is principal underscore amount underscore one where we don't check the copy back option and another is principal underscore amount underscore two where we check the copy back option so that's why it can hold its value again if we change suppose 4500 so it's hold the value if we just go to previous scenario and again come back here it hold the current value okay i hope you have understood how the scenario will work right so now go to the another what if analysis tool which is solver right so solver is what it does so there's a given a table some subject is given marks is given and some marks is zero means we want to predict some marks here according to the average means we want the average 72 for that case what will be the marks for mathematics and physics so here if you put the zero in these two subject so the average will be 50.7143 in that way in fraction so it's the average what is the formula equal average from bengali to evs including mathematics and physics is zero now you use the solver where it reside within the tools solver just go to tools and choose solver right so this window will be there so targeted cell is our average which will we want to 72 so value of just put into here 72 and by changing cell these two cell we want to change because more than one cell we want to change the value so this two cell one is g9 and the g10 right should be the absolute cell value should be now we want the targeted value for that case what what the value we want here suppose it should be less than suppose 90 and this cell means physics value so mathematics value is less equal 90 i hope this value will be there and physics value suppose we choose it's equal 60 exact 60 right so this will if this value if we generate then it may happen the targeted value for average will be 72 and then just press solve okay and just keep result is there just see the mathematics value is 89 and physics is 60 so the average if we do that in that case we got these two value from there so in that way we find out our two different value from particular case of the solver right and now the again if we use the solver choose this average cell the value and go to tools solver suppose we put the value here for example 75 and suppose here put this value is 95 and suppose this value is 60 is okay means maths value is less equal 95 we predict and physics value is suppose exactly 60 we predict and solve it and okay so maths value will be 110 so it's not okay for case so in that case suppose we choose its value is suppose 65 and again solve it and press okay its maths is 105 not possible so again is suppose 70 and again solve it and okay it's a hundred now we choose some another value just to suppose here 75 for exact value for the physics and we want 
the max value less equal 95 and average should be 75 again solve it and okay yes now it's okay so max is 95 physics is 75 now the average is 75 i hope you have understood how to use this solver where multiple value we predict for a particular target value is concerned okay so if you like this video please like it share it more and more if you have some doubts from today's video is concerned just write in the comment section i will try to solve this problem those who are still not subscribed my channel please subscribe it keep watching technical arcoin for more more upcoming videos so today up to this thank you and bye bye